Hello, everybody. This is Alan Ardeer here, and today I'm here to talk about the Steel BR800C Magnum Backpack Blower. Long awaited for me, been drooling over this thing for quite some time now. So, let's see exactly what this old gal is all about. So again, here it is. This is the Steel BR800C Magnum. Now, there are two 800s on the market from steel which is their most powerful backpack blower that they have they have the 800c which you see right here and the 800x i'm going to talk about some of the quick differences in them and there's like a 50 dollars price point difference in them too and i think these extra features on this particular one are well worth it so let's get into it right off the bat you're going to notice that there is no pull start on the back of this machine and that is the biggest distinction between the 800c and the 800x let's talk some specs here this talk about the power plant which is a 79.9 cc engine this thing is almost 80 cc's and produces quite a bit of horsepower at around 4.4 tips the scales at around 23 pounds the fuel capacity is around 67 fluid ounces and coming out of the tube is around 41 newtons. Don't know exactly what the hell that is, but you can say that this thing does blow average 199 miles per hour with a max of 239 miles per hour. And here's the biggie at 912 CFM. So let's dig into some of these little features. We're going to start with some small ones here. And I love this. This little clip here to stow the daggone air tube up awesome and what i don't understand isn't on the x model is this telescoping tube it slides in and out you loosen the collar you slide it out to your desired length not on the x okay the handle here is a rubberized kind of grip really nice stop the machine you hit this this cruise control is up here and your triggers here and then here look at this no tool adjustable for length you just flip this little lever slide it to whatever length your arm is and you're good to go it's got a, a very very generous shock isolation or vibration dampening system you can see how this is completely isolated from the the wear which this portion obviously is going to be on the wear and another setup that's not available on the X is you do have a belly band type waistband. This is, gonna, this is a big machine, still 23 pounds. And uh, this is gonna get some of the weight off of these uh, shoulder straps. But these shoulder straps are extremely well padded and you got a breast clip as well. And now for the biggest attribute and defining characteristic of this machine, the side start. Now, I've watched a million videos on this machine already before I you know, wanted to make an informed buy and every time you heard people going, well, your customer has got to come out here and talk to you. You got to shut it off. Your customer, your customer, your customer. I don't do this as a profession. I needed a good machine because I live in West by God, Virginia. And I got to push leaves uphill. Um, here's my thing. Nobody has ever referenced the fact that you have to shut your machine off to yell at your kid when you see him doing a life endangering act. And, of course, you have to shut the machine down to listen to his lame-ass reply as to why he's almost trying to kill himself doing whatever play thing he's doing out in the yard. I cannot tell you how many times, blowing this hill off, I have to yell at that boy or he has to ask me something. And you got to take the machine off, restart it, put it back on, and go. Well, not, no more, and to sound cliche, yes, game changer. Okay, guys, this machine's literally pretty much out of the box. I've not started it yet. Let's see what we got here. Of course, you're going to prime it up. You're going to just see it all in real time. Nice. And just a little design note here that I really like. It's the way they recessed in the primer bulb and choke area. Real deep recess. You ain't got to worry about ripping the bulb out or tearing your, your, your choke all to hell. So, you know another neat feature with this. When you set the choke, as soon as you hit the throttle, choke's going to bounce back down. So let's see what we got going on here. So with this thing you want to pull, do you feel a little bit of compression? A little, and then you just rip it. There 
you go. Chokes uh, went off with the throttle. Look at that. And she's off to the daggone races. So you shut your machine down to yell at your kids. Out. Start it up, so we'll pull. We feel a little pressure, and then. Ah. That was cool. Okay, let's start this thing up. Now I want you to notice something. If you listen to the sound here. This is not your regular two-stroke engine. Well, it's not a two-stroke. It's a four-stroke engine, but it still uses mix, so it's a Steel's four mix motor. And it has a completely different sound characteristic. Let's do some light blowing. Then we're gonna get us a little more aggressive. actually feel this thing really push back on you if you're walking forward it you can feel a little bit of fight a little bit of resistance this thing is really putting out a lot of, a lot of force 